welcome back to our youtube uh, video channel um today we're going to see which technology to use which javascript uh, framework to choose between um angular vue.js and react so you know this has been uh, you know a debate within um software development team where it's so hard to decide which technology to go with and at the end of the day people have no choice except to use one blindly in hope that everything's going to be okay so now i decided that uh, as a, a tech lead as someone who knows the technology that i should give a uh, honest feedback for the team that want to start either using the angular the vgs or react so but let me tell you there is no technology that is better for anything so and there is a says that uh, whatever technology that you know how to use better that is the technology that is going to serve you so with that in mind now let me give you the opinion of myself as a tech lead as someone who understands technologies because uh, i know uh, at Yego Box, we are a software development company, and we happen to have the client that have, you know, that prefer to use one of uh, this framework. So let me start with Angular. So the Angular is a framework that is full, that has everything that is in place so that you can uh, develop enterprise application. So not because we use Angular internally at Yego Box, but Angular is just a, a platform that that is full to you know to build any robust application. But for the starting uh, company or team, it is very hard for them to wrap up around Angular and get anything working. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So by Angular, uh, learning curve is so hard, so high. Like uh, if you go to learn Angular, you need to spend more than like three months in order to at least have a, a basic application learning because it has a lot of uh, component. It has a lot of features uh, that if you don't pay attention to it and you plan to you know uh, starting building enterprise application and it's going to hit you in the back let me give you an example uh, for an app like um, that is going to grow it is most likely to have a lot of files a lot of uh, you know components a lot of files that need to be compiled in order to have the final end product so and that's where when you are a new and a beginner and you want to create a, an enterprise application in angular it's going to take you much time and you may even end up uh, destroy, destroying what you have built already because the performance and the compiling time is going to hit you in the end and if you don't know how to structure the app and that comes with the experience and the experience is not something uh, a, a new developer have when he's going to start uh, creating the solution for the first time. So on top of that, the Angular has a nice documentation compared to the other, uh, as I would go ahead and talk about them. It has a clear um, documentation. It has the Angular development CRI that is going to bootstrap everything you want for you and everything as i said it is bundled in one framework one giant framework which is also another point because some people may not need all of the angular uh, features that is provided unless like that uh, competitor vue.js that.js where you choose only something you want and you install only that option and you have the flexibility to choose what you want to install or not and that is not the case for angular because 
when you start the Angular, it comes with everything that Angular has to offer, which can have uh, at the end, the bottleneck of your application size and your running curve is so high. So, and when the Angular uh, uh, introduced, they also uh, come with uh, um, uh, supporting TypeScript, which is another feature added uh, advantage uh, compared to their competitors. Even though nowadays everyone is adopting the TypeScript structure. So what do I mean by that? It's very easy for Angular to define type for everything, which is an added value for enterprise application because for enterprise application, you need to make sure that you minimize the application crashes and some of these application crashes comes from null pointers if i can say that so when your application is having more nulling pointers it's more likely that it's going to crash at any time of the user using the application so you need to make sure that you define types and make sure that there's nothing like now variable inside the application which is another value of using TypeScript uh, technology developed by Microsoft. So when Angular was developed uh, primarily Angular 2 and above, it was uh, put in perspective to respect the TypeScript and everything now use TypeScript uh, at the bottom. So enough of Angular, so let's go to Vue.js. So what is Vue.js? Vue.js is also another framework, JavaScript framework, and it is very lightweight, it's very easy to install, and it has a lot of uh, ecosystem compared to Angular, but it is also easy for the beginner to start. So let me show you how to get started. For example, you come here and bam, you can even include the Vue.js in your header and you are ready to go. Uh, this is some key point. Uh, for Vue.js because you don't have to install any PM star or anything else very fancy. You can right away include the Vue.js in your header and you are ready to use Vue.js to your application. So this is another value for Vue.js because it's very easy for beginner, especially for new people starting programming, uh, JavaScript programming uh, framework to get understanding of Vue.js and be able to start. It's very lightweight and doesn't require a lot of effort. You can almost start in one week or two uh, with uh, Vue.js. So on top of that, uh, because of it has a lot of support, and if you're using a lot of it, it'd be very easy for you to even use Vue.js within Laravel. So that's another feature, that's another value for a developer because uh, like if you're going to, if you are already using Laravel, you don't want just mess around with Angular because it can take you so much. You can try trying to to integrate uh, Angular with Laravel because it's going it's going to require you to be an expert at both of technology. But the Vue.js is very simple, very straightforward, and well thought out and design wise. So now their own uh, version 3 beta, and I believe this version 3 will be supporting the TypeScript. Uh, but you know, if you want to include TypeScript in application, you can see that the component is very easy, the structure is very easy, even though you need to learn some few keywords of how things work in Vue.js, which is not so hard, but you need to have a time, which is not. Uh, more than one week to get understanding of how Vue.js is working. For example, this is a timer application where they're showing the demo of timer. So now it's very easy to, you know, it's just, you can see that it's 11 run of code only to have the timer. So what I would comment on this for beginner, for people starting the first time, you know, using the JavaScript framework on, on their project. I would recommend using the Vue.js because it's very easy, straightforward, very 
in very easy to integrate in any project, for example, Laravel or any other project, and it will be easy for anyone to get understanding of what it is. So one problem I've seen with JS is very, very hard to get a clear structure of how the code will look like and how the components being is going to be called across the project, which is a hard um, things for a large project because uh, it doesn't offer natively the form of organizing yourself the project uh, files in a clear and visible way. And one thing I don't like is mixing the, the JavaScript and uh, HTML, which I think you can separate, but uh, by default, it comes with VGS is mixing the JavaScript and the HTML in one file. So that is another bottleneck for a large project because you need to separate the concern and you need to make sure that everything has its own uh, file so you get a clear picture of the project. For large project, project structure is a key point for the project to succeed because at the end of the day, you have more than one developer working on the project and you don't want to mess around with uh, one developer code. You make sure that each feature is designed in a way that it can be implemented by one developer without messing around with another developer code and this would be good for large project so that's what i can say with vjs and let's talk about react so react is technology developed from facebook you can see the code here starting straightforward as i said and it doesn't require a lot of time compared to angular but also something you need to learn uh, how to use the syntax of react and i will say that starting the react is not also so hard and it has a lot of community a lot of people ready to help but one problem of react is that it doesn't have a lot of things to offer at the first time when you start. It is very lightweight. And everything you're going to need with React is going to be a module, an NPM module you are going to install to help you out. And this creates a lot of problem of a choice because people, developers, the beginner, don't have this experience of knowing which packages which npm module to install and at the end of the day that you have a lot of uh, dependency hell you don't know what a dependency that needs to be updated and so on and if you don't take care of uh, that it may even affect you in a long way because you will have a lot of dependencies and some of those dependencies might have the same feature that are offering to you so you are installing the dependencies twice or more than twice and and it keeps going on and like that so that's one problem because uh, uh react is very light to it you have to install everything you need and that will create a, a problem of choice because there'll be more than one choice unlike like unlike like angular where angular doesn't, uh, you can install anything you want on, on top of Angular, but that's not necessarily because Angular has the form, have the HTTP module, have everything you need to build a complete application. But React doesn't work like that. You need to have the React simple, hero word application that doesn't offer anything like HTTP, like the middleware, the, like anything else and you're going to install everything else you need on your own. So now, what's the problem with that? Now, the, the first problem is that you need to choose wisely the component you're going to install. Some of these components are no longer made, being maintained on GitHub. And if you face the bug, it is so hard for you to decide how you're going to solve it. And you are going to need the team to somehow fix that bug in a project you haven't even created on your own. And that's a problem for 
small team uh, because it might end up a bug that can be solved in one day may end up uh, being solved in a month or two. So, and another thing I don't like, uh, this is my opinion. I don't like mixing the JavaScript with HTML. It creates a lot of bugging, um, very hard code to read, and it's so hard to make an application called review because everything is mixed. And um, that's what I have to say with the React. It's very simple, straightforward, and very easy to learn. You can learn uh, React uh, within a month and you'll be ready to go. So now this is what I can recommend. If you are building uh, an enterprise application and you don't worry about you know the complexity of learning, I would I would advise you to use Angular. And if you are, your team has not enough uh, you know, skills in, uh, in JavaScript and framework in general, I would also advise to use Vue.js because it's very easy and can even uh, work on enterprise level when you take much care of how everything is working under the hood. And I, I'd, I would advise you to use uh, React uh, JS when you really know what you're doing and when you are sure that it's just the technology you need and you have the experience on hand. Thank you for watching this video and if you like more of this content, uh, I'll be happy to provide them. Please give me the comment and uh, you know I'll be happy to just do according to your comment. And please, please subscribe to our channel and uh, click that bell button so that you don't miss any of our video content. And uh, please help us reach a thousand subscribers and it really mean a lot to us for our company. Thank you so much.